During the period of 2024 to 2026 in marine science, a notable aspect is Assessment Objective 3, emphasizing experimental skills and investigations, including biological drawing. Although some students may find drawing challenging, it becomes quite manageable with simple step-by-step -step guidance. The biological drawing question, worth four marks, offers an opportunity to showcase these skills effectively. Calculating magnification. Magnification is calculated using the following equation. Magnification is equal to image size by actual size. A better way to remember the equation is using an equation triangle. Rearranging the equation to find things other than the magnification becomes easy when you remember the triangle whatever you are trying to find. Place your finger over it and whatever is left is what you do. So magnification is equal to image size by actual size. Actual size is equal to image size by magnification. Image size is equal to magnification into actual size. In this example question, you're given a picture of a shark and tasked with drawing it while also labeling two of its features the gill slits and the caudal fin. Start by lightly drawing the outline of the shark's body shape. Use light lines because you'll erase them later. Then, add more details like the fins and mouth. Make sure they're the right size compared to the body and placed correctly. Add extra details like the eye and gill slits. Use proportions to help you place them in the right spots. Next, trace over your outline to make it clearer. Leave out any lines you don't need. Finally, erase the lighter lines to leave a clean outline. Now, label the gill slits and caudal fin using a ruler to draw straight lines from the labels to the features. Guidance for biological drawing, Use a sharp pencil for the drawing and label lines. Ensure that the drawing occupies at least half of the available space. Keep lines single, clear and continuous. Shapes like circles should have neatly joined lines with no overlapping. Maintain accuracy in the drawing, reflecting what is observed rather than assumed. Ensure that different structures are proportionate to each other. Include magnification and scale if applicable. Use a ruler to draw all label lines, ensuring they do not overlap or have arrowheads and they touch the part being labeled. Write labels horizontally, not following the direction of the label line. This question is taken from the 5180 paper 03 October, November 2014 Practical 3 assessment paper and similar types of questions are still present in the new syllabus. In figure 1.1, you'll find an image depicting a sardine. The task requires you to create an accurate drawing, magnified by a factor of 2, of the specimen shown in figure 1.1. Sometimes instructions might ask for just an accurate drawing or a large accurate drawing, so pay close attention to what the question specifies. The initial step is to establish the formula for magnification, which is drawing length divided by actual length. Given the magnification of 2 and the unknown drawing length, set up the equation as x divided by 6.3 for the actual length of 6.3 cm. This calculation results in a drawing length of 12.6 cm. Ensure to focus on the specified scale mentioned in the question. Following the guidelines as mentioned earlier, draw accurately and label the features that is mentioned in the question paper. Finally, the question mentions that the actual length of the specimen is 24 cm. On your drawing, include an appropriate scale indicating the actual length of the specimen. Once you've completed the task, clearly mention the scale used. <laughs>